Let's talk about long COVID. Maybe you had COVID a few years back and you just don't feel like you used to. You're tired all the time. You just can't shake that feeling. Maybe it's the brain fog that's getting you. Either way, let, let's talk a little bit about three things that we have seen and been finding in clinical practice that explain why some people struggle a little bit more and then what you can do about it. The first thing is... Um, mitochondrial dysfunction. So that is a fancy way to say your little energy production centers, the powerhouses of the cell, aren't making energy the way that they need to or that they should be. So there are a few nutrients that are super important for that to happen. Magnesium, CoQ10, B vitamins, and iron. If you're deficient in any of those, it's really hard to make energy. So we, we see that not just with long COVID, but with a lot of people. So those are things we test when we do an evaluation on somebody. And, and we think that it's, it's important to do that. So um, another thing is blood sugar handling. You have seen in, in all of the um, research and the the information that's coming out that people who had the worst prognosis, meaning that those that struggled the most if they were diagnosed with COVID were diabetic, they were insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, those kinds of things. They had problems with their blood sugar handling. So not only does that make actually getting COVID a little bit tougher, it makes the recovery harder. So that's the number two thing you can do is check on your blood sugar. So um, we, we like to use things like blood sugar monitors, um, continuous glucose monitors, even better because you don't have to poke your finger all the, all the time, and just really nerd out on that with people and, and help them discover whether or not they're having that problem with their blood sugar handling. And if so, what are the things that they need to change about their lifestyle to, to improve that? Um, and then number three is a, a antioxidant called N-acetylcysteine. It's the precursor to glutathione. Glutathione is your master antioxidant. It's very important. And it's particularly important for people that are fighting COVID. And so one of the things that we've seen be really helpful is using um, one of the precursors to glutathione. It is called NAC or N-acetylcysteine um, because you can't actually, in supplemental form, take glutathione. It can be pushed through an IV and so sometimes if someone's really deficient and they need some IV nutrition like uh, IV full of vitamin C and glutathione, zinc, some of those immune boosting things, that's really helpful. But for most people just taking um, the, the nutrient N-acetylcysteine is very helpful. So those are three things that we think you might like to know about if you're struggling with long COVID and those are the things you can do about it. If, if you need some direction on that, just see um, Dr. Jen, or link bio, lnk.bio backslash Dr. Jenny. And that has a way to connect to us if you want some help with that. Or if you want to look at some of those supplements that I talked about, you can get a good source.